Hey crafters, it's Jana with Crafting It Up in Creation. So I'm coming at you today with a fairly large Michaels haul. I tried to get in and out of there without spending too much money, but they've got so many cute things and it's besides their Valentine's Day stuff. I got a couple of molds. These are, of course, uh, dull on the inside, so they'll be you know, dull to the finish when you pour resin in them or anything, but I really love the hearts and the fact that they were puzzle pieces. And I thought this would be really cute to um, put pieces together. I'm hoping by the looks of them, I guess, yeah, they'll fit together from front to front. And then you can always put a coat of resin on them once they dry on the outside and it'll make it shiny. So I'll show you that um, if you're interested in seeing that. And then this, all their Valentine's Day stuff was either 30 or 40% off, and but their St. Patrick's Day stuff was not. And well, I'm a redhead, probably more of bottle now than by birth, but um, my great grandmother had red hair and never even grayed. I always tell people I wish I would have gotten that gene. But, so, St. Patrick's Day means a lot to me for a lot of different reasons. And I saw this mold, and I think I have one with just clovers. But I thought this was really cute. Um, little cute um, bucket full of gold. And the little hats are cute. And, of course, a four-leaf clover. So, this one was $5.00 but they had a coupon 40% um, off everything at Joann's and my Michaels did allow me to use this yesterday. So I was super excited about that. She whipped out a little piece of paper that had the barcode on it and scanned it. And I thought if they wouldn't give me that one, then I was gonna at least ask to use the 50% off one because most of the things I had were on sale. Um, I did pick up a bunch of Valentine's Day stuff, and I picked up a bunch of these really super cute folders. Oh my goodness. So, I've got four of them here, and these were $5. I don't even know if a lot of times they let you use coupons on these. I'd have to go back and look at my receipt now, too, but this is Valentine and Be Mine, and I just thought that it comes with two embossing folders. But this one has like a scalloped heart in there. And then there's one with just hearts all the way around the back of it. And it's so cute. And then on the back it shows you, you know, what the images are on that. And then this one has falling hearts kind of. And it says, I love you, you're sweet. Will you be my valentine? And then the other one is just like uh, roses. And then this one says, Valentine, be mine, and love you, XO. And the hearts on the back of it are just a little bit different. See, it's like XOXO. I really thought this was super cute um, for a folder, and I didn't have anything like that. And then this one just says, Happy Valentine's Day. And it's got this, like, frame with the hearts and then scattered hearts everywhere. So, I don't know that I need that many heart folders, but they're so cute. And, you know, you can always use these besides on Valentine's Day. And then in their $2 bin section, I did pick up this one with the unicorns on it. And, of course, it has the little unicorn stamp. But the embossing folder is just really really cute. I love unicorns. <laughs> I love unicorns, mermaids, anything mythical, dragons. And then they have this kitty cat one that's holding this cute little heart and there's all kinds of little paw prints. And if you've been following me for a little while, my daughter, um, she's 21. She's getting ready to, she's actually moved out last night. I'm so sad. And she took her little kitten she rescued with her. So at the end of the video, if, um, if you want to see some of Toothless is what she named him because there's a couple different pictures when she first brought him home that he looks like the little character of How to Train a Dragon. So I'll include that picture and a couple little footages of him, of him just being super cute. Um, this is some of their stickers, their Valentine's Day stickers. I just like the look of them. And of course they ombre them into 
colors for like a, a rainbow mixture and I love that. I thought that was so pretty. And then I did go ahead and just get the pink, red, and silver ones. I guess maybe it's light pink, dark pink, and red. I don't really see any silver in there. And then I also picked up this clear stamp and die and it says, let's spend some more time together. I'm sweet on you. And they're so cute. And of course it has a little square die cut and one of the dies fits around this little one that's holding the heart. And I've got some other stickers here. I don't have a whole lot of Valentine's Day stickers, although I guess I have some from like the Dollar Tree, but these to me look like wax melt um, seals. And I thought that was really cute. It just says puppy stickers on there. These were $5. Of course, I got them 40% off, which I, you know, I'm not even sure. I think the Valentine's Day stuff was 40 And then there was something else listed for kids. Um, Valentine's Day crafts were 30 but I don't know. And it, I couldn't quite follow. I don't understand why they had two different um, discounts on those. But anyway, I thought these were really cute. They're kind of like a goldish color. And then I got these hearts as well. They have a little bit of holographic look to those. I thought these would just be fun to add to projects. And then these are look like they have a little resin um, top to them. And they're all the, well, there's three different ones, but they all look like this. And there's nine of them. And these were $3 for the discount. And then I did go ahead and pick up some of these bling stickers because I thought these um, red hearts were really pretty and they would be fun to add on top of bows or anything like that. And then, of course, you know, it came with the little um, clear gems and some half pearls, and they're all stickers. And then I picked up these are just little sets of stickers as well. Um, these were $5.00. And then it's recollections, but I liked some of the images in here. And on the back, it shows you what they are. It tells you there's four of each, but there's Kiss Me, Love You, Be Mine, Valentine, Love. I really love these little arrows. Um, I think they're going to be so much fun to add to like a paper clip. So I've got ideas in my head. We'll see how far I get and how fast I get there. And then they had these. This was $5. Um, they were just a set of 114 different stickers in here. Oh, sorry, I'm bumping the camera. But there's that cute little dog. This is Be Mine Valentine. Cute little tic-tac-toe board. I love the bicycle. I want to say, yeah, on the back part, it's the same exact set. So here are the second one. And look, that says sassy. I know whose badge I'm going to put that on when I'm at work one day. And then they have these happy valentines. Love. Oh, look at that tree. I love it. These are so cute. I thought these would even be fun to add to my planner for next month. A few of these. And um, I love decorating my planner with stickers. It's a problem, I know. I can't help it. And then and they had a section where they're um, carrying a lot of uh, glitter mixes and um, shaker pieces and stuff so you can make sh really cool shakers. And they had this glitzy um, sticker. They had another one, I think it was a mermaid tail, but it was stuffed really full. And this one has a little bit of movement to it. And I love anything galaxy as well. So I only got one. You know, maybe if I ever go back and they put anything in that section on sale, maybe I'll get a couple of the others because this was $5. And mind you, I did get the 40% discount, but I was, I spent enough as it was. I'm trying really hard to um, craft more than I haul, and so far, you know, how that goes. This was $1.50, so with the discount, it made it like 90 cents. I just want to maybe put a little cover on that, and I want to um, 
do a subscriber giveaway soon. It looks like I'm getting ready to come up on 80,000 subscribers, so I want to make something special. And I did buy a couple of these. I even wanted to possibly do a swap next month. And if you're interested in this at all, let me know um, in this video down in the comments below. And I'll also be doing a uh, resin charm video I'm just showing you different ones that I've made and I'll ask again there if anyone's interested because I want to do a um, a charm swap is basically what I want to do and I want to have like at least make one really special charm that you could add to like a planner or um, your purse or anything like that and then have some other little uh, maybe like three or four separate little tiny charms and you could buy the other ones but I would want that the, the big mega one would be one that you've made and I'll do some tips and tricks with you um, with the, the video that I'm gonna do to show you you know if if you already have the um, tools on hand then um, you may even already know how to get away with making them I love these little erasers. They, they were in the little $2 spot as well. There's six little cactus erasers. I think these are good to add to charms as well. Now what I would do, because all these pieces usually kind of come apart like a puzzle, like the little flowers, is put a little super glue in with those and then put a little hanger at the top and you could hang it from like a little keychain or whatever. You know, it makes such a cute little charm in that two dollar bin i also picked up some mermaid tails oh these are going to be so much fun to add some bling to um, i just imagined adding something off the side of the tail um, that way you could still put them in your planner and have a little fun detail on that it's going to be so much fun i can't wait to share that with you guys and then here are some unicorn ones as well I was pretty sure I was gonna probably leave this Michaels haul to all its own because I, I really did get too much stuff yesterday. They also had these in the $2 bin and I got two different ones. And this, they had one with the months on it, I believe, and something else, but I really like the sayings on this one. You know, like this one says, thank you, happy B day, sending love, hugs and kisses, um, celebrate, a little note, XOXO, I went out of order. <laughs> best wishes miss you good luck get well soon and then they had this never give up just breathe follow your heart you got this I thought this would be great in my planner I said before I love um, motivational sayings and different things and I love watching motivational stories about people and thinking to myself um, all right Janet things aren't that bad dust your butt off get up and get to it so, and then in the um, mix of seeing all these shaker mixes that I'm getting ready to show you, I did decide to go into the, it's a, in the kids crafting section. They have these glitter mixing jars and I picked some of, of these up and of course it already has the lid and these were like, I want to say this pack was $2. So with a 40% discount, I paid $1.20 for this. So I thought that was a great deal. They had tons and tons and tons of these colors. Well, maybe not tons and tons and tons, but they probably had at least six to eight different colors that you could choose. I picked the um, holographic ones because I thought those would be fun, um, especially for some of the things that I like. So I did pick that one. It's got some little small glitter in it and it's got that like hexagon glitter in there. And the same with this one. This one's like a purple mix. And I honestly didn't think that I had one like this. Some of the others, the reason I didn't get those was because I thought that, you know, I had a lot of things that I can make my own glitter mixes with. And that's what made me want to go ahead and get even the little shaker jars to make my own. And this is a lot of glitter. Like, I don't know if I'll ever go through all this, but I'm going to try. And then they had some smaller containers that were assorted glitter sets. And these go really well together. I had to pick and choose. They had a couple other colors. They had a pink one, but the pink was very, um, 
it was not, it was kind of like a hot pink. Like I like a dark pink or a purplish pink color. But as you can see, there's little um, diamond looking ones, then just regular blue glitter. And then there's moons. And then this is just a really fine glitter. And these all would go well together. So I can't wait to make like a little shaker and use some of those in them. And then all the glitters pretty much have that. They have a shaped glitter in them and a fine and, a, and like a, a, a bigger glitter. So this one has the moons, and this is kind of like a champagne color. Let's see if it actually tells on here. This is gold. It says silver moons, dark silver, extra fine glitter, bright gold, open star, gold chunky glitter. This isn't really what I think of when I think of chunky glitter, but, you know, okay. But... I love those moons. Okay, so I did an ephemera um, collage kit on Scrap the World's channel. I'll link that video that I made below. I think these would have went so well in it if I could have even added a couple of different colors of the moons. I think I did add some cute stuff that would go appropriately with it, but that would have been a lot of fun. They were like the same colors that were in it. And then they have this, and this says teal. All right, teal diamonds, light blue chunky, medium teal glitter, and medium teal extra fine glitter. And so these are really pretty. I like that. Now, this is more, more what I would consider chunky glitter. Thank you. <laughs> and then, of course, purple is my favorite color. It's also my birthstone. Um, so I picked up this one, and it's got, um, this looks like that, uh, stuff at Christmas. Let's see what it says. Purple flake. Yep. Light purple flake, bright purple, extra fine glitter, medium purple heart, and dark purple chunky glitter. But they did a really good job with all these. Um, I think the little shaker bit sets are just really nice. And really, $5 isn't bad, especially when you can use a coupon. All right, and then I love the gems that Michaels has come out with in those little containers. Um, I have about every gem that they sell, just about. There's some of them that I decided, you know, I probably wouldn't use. I have more than I know what to do with. But I thought when I saw these, there's like a light pink, a red, and um, they're all in hearts and everything. And there even are some clear hearts in there. But I went ahead and picked these up. These were $8 for this. Um, of course, this is Valentine's Day, so it was 40% off. But I just wanted to get some of these to add to the middle of bows or just to dress things up. Because, you know, you can always add a heart to something. And then they have these really cool... Um, this is a slick glitter paper pad. And, oh my gosh, let me tell you what, this is so pretty. It was $5 for this, and there's only four sheets in here, so I don't know. <laughs> We're going to decide if it's worth it or not, but this is really slick. It almost feels like um, wrapping paper, but look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to use it. That really pretty blue. If they ever put that on sale again, or if I have the ability, if I knew that for sure they were going to let me that use that 40% off Joanne's coupon, I might have gotten an extra one. But I've heard stories of people saying that their Michaels wouldn't allow them to use it, saying that they didn't have the code. So I did get a little nervous on that one. And then they had this one. This is slip glitter pad as well but it's just the different colors so there's like a, a raspberry or color this really pretty deep purple there's a really pretty blue and I honestly the blue that's coming out across the camera looks lighter than what it is in person and then this gold so pretty and then I looked for two different ones in this Galaxy Glitz um, paper pad. This has like a really different finish to it. 
But, oh my gosh, it just makes me think of a mermaid so much, not so much a galaxy. This one does. Let's see on the next colors. This is like a um, opalescent color, and so is this, but it's got a little bit of um, pink to it. It doesn't look like that pink, but, you know, and I guess there's a purple, and this does have like a purple hue in it. They also had smaller ones where you got like, I want to say, eight pieces, but they were like about by seven, about by eight maybe. Look how pretty that is. I mean, this totally makes me think of mermaid, not so much um, galaxy, but these are so pretty. And actually there are six sheets in this one. So a little bit better of a deal there. And then I did get a couple of the Hot Buy paper pads. They were buy one, get two free, which really isn't their best deal, but it wasn't a bad deal. And Hi Michaels is so finicky. They get in their paper pads and then you never know if they're actually gonna get them back in again. And I really liked this um, Just Beachy paper pad before when I saw it. So I decided to go ahead and, and include that in one of my get one freeze refresh relax and recharge I really want to make a beach trip this year I don't know if it's gonna happen but I really want to go I love the beach I'm about six hours away four to six hours away from the beach depending on which one I go to That's a really pretty paper. It's got gold foiling. Just super pretty. And then this one is Sprig and Bow. And it's just got a lot of plants in it. I just love the light green color. The colors on this one just thought was beautiful. I, I don't know that I've even seen anybody show this one yet. But I love succulents. I just thought that was so pretty. It makes me want to make one of those little shadow box ones with that picture or with that paper in there. So we'll see. Got little cut aparts in the alphabet, a little pretty wood grain. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. Love keeps growing. All we have are these moments and we grow together. That, that paper is so pretty. Look at those roses. Yeah. And I'm gonna kind of run, run through this a little bit faster just so the video isn't so long. But these are so pretty. old bedroom into my new craft room and we're going to redo the floor first before and then this one's called dark rainbow i thought they had another one out that had something galaxy in the title but maybe i'm wrong but this one's really pretty too and of course it has galaxy type paper within it and it's that purple color of course that i just love so much but it's got some holographic um not really foil but i guess maybe um, holographic foil look in there and silver foil it's really pretty there's a whole bunch of pretty ones in there and by the time I was halfway through this paper pad my hand had started hurting so I was trying to speed this up a little just to make the video not so long there's a bunch of really cute cutout parts um, this is just a really pretty set I love anything galaxy so I'm a sucker what can I say and then I also picked out some beads. Now all their beads were buy one, get one free. And I did pick all green label beads, which their green label beads are $5.99 a piece. So I just made sure I didn't mix and match. If I, if I were gonna buy one, get one free of the blue label, which is their $9.99, then I would have just bought all blue because I'm not letting them charge me $9.99 and then get a, a $6 one for free. <laughs> so I like to work it. So this is the bracelet that I made. I actually showed it in my last video, but I put a couple lava beads on it and mix it with some gemstones and even have a little 
um, silver spacer in there and then I added a little heart charm that I hung from it and all those are actually from Michaels and I picked out some of the uh, 12 millimeter and 10 millimeter black lava beads. I just use those more often than I do the color ones. I have noticed when I put the essential oils on the colored ones, if I lay them on a napkin, I see a little bit of that color come off on them. I haven't noticed it on my hand because if I drop the oils on those beads, I just kind of roll it across my arm a few times to let it soak in real good. I haven't noticed it that way, but I do worry, like if you had on something light colored, um, I would I would think that it would it maybe change the color of your shirt. And then I picked up these uh, Lotus Antique Silver um, plated beads. These are really cute. I have some of these from before, but I've used a bunch of them. So I went ahead and grabbed another strand. And I thought these little silver beads um, were really pretty. There's uh, two different ones. And I thought they would be fun to add in between some of those larger beads as well. And all of these are written in a different place. So all these say are silver plated lentil. And then these are lotus flowers as well, but they're in a round disc. And so I bought those and I thought they were really pretty. And I actually, I've bought these before and used some of them up. So um, it's kind of a repeat buy, one of my favorite things. And since St. Patrick's Day is coming up, that's why I went ahead and picked up a few of these green beads. These are a really pretty like shell bead. Um, I'll find it here in a second so I can actually show you what the tag actually says. But they're, um, it's just a shell round green bead. It's eight millimeters, but they're really pretty. They have a really pretty color to them. And then the next um, strand is cat eye. And these, I believe, are 12 millimeter um, beads. Let's see. No, they're tens. Sorry. Um, but they're just glass, cat's eye green. Um, beads but I thought that that would be fun to add some of the lava beads to these as well and keeping up with um, St. Patrick's Day of having something to wear that is green not that anybody pinches me but hey and then this last strand that I got these are ceramic beads I believe um, yep, green ceramic. These are 12 millimeter round and these um, have some brown in them. So I thought that mixing these even with some of the brown lava beads that I have would be really pretty because they look about the same size. Um, these are just kind of like a nice big bead and I can at least make one um, bracelet out of those. So $3, you know, and maybe $4 at most to um, create a bracelet. That's pretty cool. And maybe, you know, if, even if you add a charm of some sort, I've got a couple little um, four leaf clover charms, I believe that I could hang from them. And I think that'll be so cute. So I'll share that with you guys um, when I make that. And so that's it for my Michaels haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know that was quite a long one. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for always supporting my channel. I appreciate you more than I can say. Thanks for all um, your wonderful encouragement and always sticking by me. If you haven't already, uh, make sure you click that like button if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. If you um, click that bell after you hit the subscribe button, that'll notify you every time I upload a video. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I hope you get a moment to craft it up. Take care and God bless. Goodbye.